like subscribe and leave a comment um aew review of aew uh week commencing um 20th of march obviously rampage for the week prior so rampage starts with Hobbs versus ray phoenix in a really good match really solid match there but in the end hob wins uh then we had adam cole come out basically saying he's ready for war he's ready for war with anybody because he's going to be back so he's ready to face anybody on the roster then we had tar valkyrie who's now new to AEW versus some chick tar valkyrie wins and Jay, but while she was winning, Jade Cargill and her baddies came out to watch the match. So we'll see what happens there. Then we had videos of Stokely wrestling, getting ready to face Hook. Um, then we had the Bollywood Boys versus the JS. Obviously, the JS won. Then we had the Gun Club confront uh, Top Flight and said they're going to give my title shot on at um, Dynamite. So we will see what happens in that match. Then in the main event of the evening, it was Brody King versus Danny Garcia in a really good match, but due to <laughs> quote unquote interference Danny Garcia got the win so that was Rampage then we go to Dynamite Dynamite starts up with Jack, uh, Nick Jackson getting put in a hospital uh, put into an a ambulance getting taken away because obviously he was attacked by somebody Hangman Adam Page came went with him in the taxi in the, not in the taxi in the ambulance as well so we'll see what happens that later then we had so the first match was Orange, Cass Orange Cassidy um, Orange Cassidy Darby and Sting versus Kid Sabian Butcher and a Blade in a really good match, go and watch it. But in the end, Sting won. Then we had Top Flight versus the Gun Club uh, for the AEW titles, tag team titles, and a really good match. But the Guns won. I told everyone the Guns are not losing at the moment. They're going to be on a heel run. Um, then FTR comes out, and wow, it's crazy. FTR put out ultimatum. FTR wanted a rematch against the Gun Club, but they said if the FTR doesn't win, they will leave AEW for good. So it looks like. Hey, FTR might be going to WWE or whatever's happening, I'm not sure. So then we had Jade basically call out um, and call, making a call out. And then um, Layla, J Layla Gray, I believe her name was, uh, wants to face, I believe, Tyler, Tyler, uh, Tyler Valkyrie. So, two abs there. Then we had Stokely versus Hook. Come on now, Hook won that. Then we had Adam, Adam Cole again saying he's ready to face anybody, he's ready to be back in the ring. Uh, good reception from the crowd. While he was talking, Danny Garcia came out and basically said he's beat a lot of people while he's been away. And Adam Cole was basically just bring it, boy. Then we had uh, Kenny in the back. Bob, obviously, Kenny Omega was upset at what happened with uh, Nick Jackson. So we'll see what happens there. Then we had Moxley, John Moxley versus Stu from the Dark Order. Obviously, Moxley won. Uh, you're not beating John Moxley at the moment. Then we had Ricky Starks call out the JS saying he said he's done with them, he's tired of this. He will fight any of them, whatever. He's just really sort of done with it, so we'll see what happens there. Then we had QT TV talks about Hobbs and his next opponent, so we'll keep watching there. Then we had Sky Blue versus Tony Storm in a really good match, but in the end, Tony Storm won. Then Rio and Nyla Rose came out with like weapons to come after him due to being attacked for them previously, so we'll see what happens there. Then in the back, BCC beats down Stu. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Then in the main event of the evening, you need to go and watch this match if you haven't seen it. It was Kenny Omega versus Del Vinkingo. I think that's how you pronounce his name. This match was absolute bar burner. It was awesome. Del Kingo, the Viking, whatever you call him, he was absolutely awesome. Spin moves, everything. Go and watch this match if you haven't seen it. It was amazing. But in the end, Kenny Omega won. And then basically the BCC came down and started beating down Kenny Omega. But then Hangman Adam Page came out to help with weapons. And then the BCC left. And then for some reason, Don Callis played like Hangman hit him. So then Kenny Omega wasn't happy. So that's how it ended. So we will see what happens. But good show. Go and watch if you haven't seen it. Like, subscribe and leave a comment.